In today's video, I'm gonna be proving to you that your life is a lie. That's right, dudes. I'm gonna blow your mind towards the end of this video, and if I don't blow your mind, well, I'll eat my PS4 controller. That's right, the whole thing. I'll eat it, I'll do it. Starting off with something many of you guys may know of, slap bracelets. Remember those slap bracelets you slap on your wrist and it just turned into a nice bracelet? Well, yeah, these are made from tape measures. What? That means someone made a whole business out of old tape measures, cutting them, and then making them into bracelets. That is so random, but also really cool. But seriously, like they're literally just tape measures wrapped in plastic for, for like design so they can make money. It, it's like recycling gone crazy. Speaking of recycling, someone went out of their way and just made a whole new company off someone else's product. That's right. This Kohl's company had their deodorant wrapped by a shoe deodorizer company. That makes no sense. Literally, the company would just buy the Kohl's Cool Fresh Antiperspirant deodorant and then sell that same deodorant as shoe deodorant. That sounds like a scam to me. Or like this cheeseburger. You buy this cheeseburger, super excited to take a bite into it, and then you go to see what's underneath the burger's bun, and you see it's the smallest slice of cheese. The cheese is literally just there to prove that it's a cheeseburger. And in theory, if you think about it, no one ever said that the cheeseburger had to be like a full slice of cheese. Just saying. But the biggest scam. As you guys know, in the holidays, it's always nice to get chocolate, like this little guy right here. For Santa, you know, Santa Claus, you know, mm, good chocolate. Until you open the chocolate and you see this. It's the Easter Bunny. This, what? So you're telling me they had made all this chocolate for Easter. That they had so much left over that they waited to use it until Christmas. That is, that, hey, that is, unless the Easter Bunny is Santa Claus. Holy. I've also never understood this. I buy soup pretty often, and sometimes it says 100% juice. And then you read the ingredients for the nutrition size, for the nutrition facts, and it says contains 27% juice. Now, I don't know if you guys know this, but 100% and 27% are two completely different things. So someone's lying to us here, and I'm not really sure who it is or what's going on here, but this tomato juice is a scam. Speaking of scams, this is why I have trust issues, all right? As you guys can see, the left Campbell's soup and the right Campbell's tomato soup are pretty much the same thing. They look the same size, right? But it says 30% bigger and 40% bigger. Now, here's what I'm thinking. It's the same length, but the width is a little bit bigger. That's what I'm thinking. It may look the same, but it does look like the right soup is a little bit bigger in like the density of the can. Let me know in the comment section. Am I crazy or does this actually look bigger on the right side? People are saying it's th they're the same size, but to me, the right size does look a little bit bigger. Now, if you guys don't know much about me, I actually struggle with this problem. I have a gluten intolerance. I can't have wheat sugar, white rice, egg yolk, barley. I can't have any of that stuff. And this is a gluten-free chocolate chip cookie. But then if you read the fine print, it says this product contains gluten. So is it gluten-free or does it contain gluten? Someone's gonna make up their mind here because this, is a, this ain't making no sense. Ain't making no sense. Speaking of not making sense, this chocolate bar is a scam. When this person bought this chocolate bar, they probably thought to themselves, mm. I'm gonna eat a delicious chocolate cranberry bar. And then they realize, wait a second, the cranberries are only in the middle where the square was, but there's no cranberries anywhere else. What the heck is going on here? And that's exactly what this picture shows, a scam. Or this bad boy, Cam Crunch. Everyone knows my boy Cam Crunch. He be out there on all the cereal boxes, crushing the world. Everyone loves Cam Crunch. You can't go wrong with some enjoyable Cam Crunch, all right? It's, it's a delicious cereal, but have you ever realized or looked into his little picture of Captain Crunch and noticed that something's very off about this man? Yeah, dude, he's not even a captain. Can you believe it? He's actually a commander. With the stripes he has, it marks as a commander, not even as a captain. This guy's been lying to us since day one. His cereal needs to be canceled. Speaking of canceling, Arby's, what is going on here? Huh? I love french fries. I think everyone watching this video can be like, oh man, I love french fries too, Garrett. 
Listen, if you don't like french fries, then I don't know what's wrong with you. Potatoes are delicious, even though they not, may not be super healthy for you because they're starch and carbs regardless. Arby's, your large and your medium fries are the same thing, unless when this picture was taken, a lot of fries fell out of the large. That could be a possibility, but I'm thinking that the medium and the large have probably the same amount of french fries in them. You know what they should have done? They should have weighed the french fries, the large and the medium, to see, hey, which one has more french fries? And I guarantee you, it's probably the medium. And that's how they get you with the drinks, too. Don't fall for the scams, boys. Always order a medium or a small. Okay, when I, I, I've never bought ice cream and thought to myself, man, I really want my ice cream to look exactly like what I'm buying. Like this panda ice cream. As you can see in the left picture, we have a little panda. But on the right here, it's, it's a, that, that is not a panda. That is, what happened here? What went so wrong at the factory when they were making this? It was like, hey, this sort of looks like a panda, right? No, not even close to a panda at all. Speaking of pandas, as they are an Asian animal, this is an Asian food normally found in 7-Elevens and quick stops that you can quickly just pick up a bite along your way in the train stations or bus stations or getting into a taxi. And as you guys can see, it looks pretty good when you first look at it until you see the second picture and it's literally the biggest scam ever. How is it possible that this is even being sold like this? You're literally just eating bread at this point. Like they just have enough food in the front of the bread to make it look like it looks so delicious and so filling. And then you open the slices up and it's empty. It's empty inside. Just like my heart. <laughs> Speaking of empty, this Chef Barney ravioli can only had one ravioli in it. How is this possible? I have never in my life bought Chef Boyardee and been like, man, I can't wait to only have the soup. No, it comes with both. It's meat sauce with tomato like it's tomato sauce and meat sauce right and then ravioli inside but this one was like one ravioli and the rest was tomato and meat sauce we gotta have a talk mr chef boyardee mr boyardee we've gotta have a one-on-one -on -one because this is not acceptable not freaking oh my gosh big jumbo shrimp those are huge shrimp what is going on wait a second wait that line is super conveniently placed can we remove that line? are you kidding me this is a scam what they literally where, where's the rest of the shrimp what happened here but what, what what whose idea was this by the way this means that they have to cut the shrimp in half separate them and then put it for sale how is this even legal this has to be a, it's not even jumbo shrimp that's like cut in half shrimp and then slapped together that makes no sense to me at all i have no idea how that even happens speaking of lies oh my gosh Arizona tea, an American company, it says. And then you look at the bottom right and it says product of Canada. Canada? There's nothing wrong with Canada, but I thought it was an American product. What? what the, like my whole, my whole life is a lie. What happened? I'm so confused. Speaking of lies, watermelons that are seedless, but have seeds. This is broken. This imagine what if you're like allergic to watermelon seeds which isn't possible i don't think i don't think that's a thing by the way but imagine you know you buy this excited to eat the watermelon and then <laughs> you start choking on a watermelon seed it's very possible hey i saw an animation once where an, a watermelon actually grew in a kid's stomach from a seed it's not really possible it was just an animation but you never know anything's possible nowadays now i've never understood this concept a lot of companies take something that's unhealthy and then market it as a healthy alternative to already what's not healthy, right? So let's take a look at the Hershey's chocolate syrup here. This Hershey's chocolate syrup is calcium version. Now, it says specially fortified with vitamins and minerals. Like who goes and buys chocolate and is like, you know what? I want the healthy chocolate. There is no healthy chocolate. Chocolate is chocolate. It's literally made of sugar. So you, you can't get a healthy version, but this one is the calcium one. And if you look at the fine print, it says calcium 0%. How is this the calcium version? I don't understand how that makes any sense. There is no calcium in this, but it's labeled as calcium. Ah, that makes no sense. I don't understand why that's even a thing. That does not, my brain does not work on that one. That's for sure. Speaking of my brain not working, this definitely did not pass a test. Somewhere, somehow, this went very wrong. Very wrong. They went to make an ice cream where the top is chocolate. And instead, they somehow made the cone chocolate. I don't even know how that happens. Because 
you would think, oh, maybe the chocolate just melted. But if the chocolate melted, then the ice cream would have melted. We would not be in this position, but somehow we are. I don't even, I don't have words. Expectations versus reality. You know, this always happens to us, boys. Let me tell you, like the last picture with the chocolate, and then we have McDonald's McFloats. The, can the cotton candy McFloat was supposed to look so delicious and so tasty. Here is the picture of what it looks like. Then we got the reality when we ordered at the McDonald's, and this is what we got. Uh, yeah. I'm just gonna go out there and say that this is probably, yeah, this is why life is completely a lie to me. Regardless, if you guys have enjoyed the video, be sure to drop a like. I'll see you guys tomorrow with a brand new one. Click that like button. Click that subscribe button. Click here to go watch the next video, and I'll see you guys later. Bye, dudes!